Welcome to the 131st edition of Make Pro Wrestling Majestic Again. I am Tiger Height. And I am Peanut Gallery. So let's talk to you about my soapbox and about all the shows for this week because hit or miss for the most part. CM Punk. Well, so we're in Raw. Raw had 104, uh, 1.466 million instead of 1.533 and a 0.46 demo instead of a 0.48. Uh, not great, but I'm giving them leeway because of football. CM Punk is signing with Raw. That was to be expected and 100% the right call. The main event where it was a disqualification because Shinsuke sprayed the mist in Cody's face, 100% the right call. Pretty much everything from top to bottom on this show I liked pretty much. Uh, the Ray Ripley and Maxine Dupree match was a waste of time, but I got to see Maxine being bent over like a pretzel, and that helps with my fantasies later. But the tag team match with the women, it was much better last week. There just wasn't really a whole lot of substance. It almost feels like the whole show is hitting a wall. And I'm hoping that that trend does not continue, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that. NXT was a lot better. I did not get... I, oh, no, there it is. So 678,000 instead of 625,000 and a .18 demo instead of a .19. So NXT is kind of hovering on that um, upper 600, lower... Uh, that Yeah, upper 600, lower 700 number, which is actually good for NXT. The final segment here where... Carmelo Hayes accidentally hitting Trick Williams with the title was good. Uh, that was a very good segment because it's once again stirring the pot because Trick is going for the title at New Year's Evil. I don't know if they're going to be doing a show, but we'll see when we cross that bridge. We had a little more of the uh, men's breakout tournament, which I was very impressed from both guys, uh, all four guys, really. They were very, very good. The metaphor against Team Brooks Jensen was fine. You know, uh, Dijak and Eddie Thorpe actually had a match that made sense given what is going on here. Very violent brawl, ended in a disqualification. That's how you do it. And Dragon Lee defended against Tyler Bate for the North American Champion in a very good match. Just a good show all the way around, but once again, not a whole lot of substance there. I moved the uh, orientation of power, so we're going to go right into power. This was their first return to the Robarts show, which I think it's like an arena in Florida that they haven't been in 30 years or something like that. That's why they made this a big deal. Uh, mm, not a big fan. I, I wasn't a big fan of this show. The main event was the Immortals defending the U.S. tag titles against the Brothers of Funstruction, which are quickly becoming one of my favorite teams in NWA. I think they work really well. Uh, it's silly and campy, but they actually know how to wrestle. Mm -hmm. So you can look over a lot of like the silly campiness. It, they're basically more depressed Doink the Clowns. Like That's really what it was. Uh, it was good up until the fucking ending. Because, of course, the ending had to be ruined by the kids. That's not... That was literally the name of their tag team. They are known as the kids. Mm -hmm. Speaking of tag teams... The, main, the opening match had, I am not kidding you, the Heavenly Butterflies. That was the name of a tag team. And I cannot take that seriously. They're fine, but the Heavenly Butterflies. Come on. I mean, make it like the Menacing Butterflies or something. It's like, Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if uh, Chris Hansen should be your manager. So, let's get into Dynamite. Which I actually like for the most part, except for the main event. So, uh, the Dynamite show got 845,000 instead of 823,000. It was a 0.3 demo instead of a 0.25. So, up slightly, but up. The main event, Swerve Strickland, John Moxley. This was one of the Continental Classic matches, and both of them at this point tied for the most amount of points within that particular round robin tournament. If you were smart, you would have had Swerve Strickland win. He has all this momentum, and he would be the next logical challenger to MJF. Mm -hmm. You didn't do that. John Moxley pulls off that John Moxley in the bank, and he won the match because it's John Moxley. He is quickly becoming the Hulk Hogan of this brand. 
Uh, Jay White and Jay Briscoe. Jay Briscoe's totally out. Or they say Jay Briscoe. Well, no, I mean they meant they they called him Jay Briscoe for a little while. So they did. They did. So that's nothing new. So Jay Briscoe's brother is totally out of this tournament, and he wanted to play spoiler. That's basically why he's still in it. But obviously he is a loser. So Jay White beat him. The women's match, first Ruby uh, Riho match, she faced Ruby Soho. It was lame. It was absolutely lame. Uh, really, the focus was around the Continental Classic, which essentially is going to be having a uh, three-belt thing going on. And then Tony Khan brings in another belt, but we'll talk about that when we uh, talk about Final Battle, because that is important. But, you know, it was a perfectly fine dynamite. It was not offensive. Once again, Impact Wrestling had a... Um, non-canon show, yep. so I did not cover it. I am, I swear to God, I will be covering them again. People are losing their minds. It's been like a month and a half. I can't help it that they're not doing live shows. Right. <laughs> so let's talk about SmackDown. Uh, a, AJ Styles is ripped as hell. I don't know what they're doing. Did they, did they totally throw out the wellness policy or what? Uh, but AJ looks awesome, and he returned Definitely needed, but him going after LA Knight seems like a really weird choice, so I'm not a big fan of that. It's whatever. Uh, SmackDown was okay. There were some okay matches, but there wasn't really anything that stood out to me as like this great, fantastic thing. Even Reigns. It's just like, eh, you know, it's cool that he's there, but at the same time, we know that he's just going to talk. Uh, setting up for Royal Rumble, Randy Orton challenging him, it's fine. That's really... That's really all I have to say. There wasn't just a whole lot going on here. Uh, yeah. And, you know, nothing Nothing was offensive, but nothing was there. Nope. But that was my soapbox. Sorry, it's a little bit um, shorter. But if there's not really a whole lot to talk about or rant or rave about, it's right. hard to really drag that out. Why so, bother? Right, exactly. So... When we come back, Peanut Gallery, what are we talking about? Well, there's a new initiative, there's a new initiative in Japan going on that we should talk about. And I'm, not, I'm surprised there haven't been a lot more, there's a lot, not as much coverage on it either. So we'll get into that. 